Well, I think it's it's going to be on the flat run in. It's pan flat for at least the last 30, 35 kilometers off the back of the descent of this next climb at Quarrenmore. And somewhere along the run in there, as they head out towards the coast, they'll be setting themselves up for the last dead straight three kilometer run in here. Now then, we're nearing the summit of the climb and uh, Christian House at the front just gathering himself here, looking for the uh, sprint and, of course, the maximum points. He's going to really attack this. He wants another full house at the top. It's four for the first rider over the top. Just dancing on the pedals out of the saddle. Here he comes up to the line. Yep, Christian House takes it. Four points to add to his tally, so... What a fruitful day he's had then. That takes uh, his uh, overall accumulation of points today to 16 to add to the 46 that he started off with at the start of the day. So he's now got 62 points, and that is 21 points ahead of his nearest challenger, Pablo Urtason. Yeah, you can see the other riders there not contesting that sprint. Happy to let Christian House roll across the front of the line there and take maximum points on that Category 3 climb. So Christian House's unbridled passion then for the uh, King of the Mountains jersey has reflected very strongly today and he will be on the podium later in Blackpool in the Protocol Air Ceremony. Welcome back. Now, finally, the pace at the front proved too much for four of the breakaway riders, with House, Gustafsson, Lele and Cronshaw dropping back to rejoin the peloton. We pick up the racing with Dan Craven and Ronan McLaughlin holding on to a slender lead and heading for home. Sweeping across the river wire here now, and this, of course, is a very, very exposed section. And, of course, not the ideal scenario for a small group ahead because it means the peloton can see them. And there we are, the line beginning to form. Also up there is Zach Dempster in second position, riding on the Endura team. A little bit further down, the diminutive figure of Russell Downing. And there is the world champion. And that's Mark Cavendish now really beginning to get the race face on. Race face there for Jeremy Hunt as well, just off the back of Cavendish there. He's done an awful lot of work today earlier on in this race. And his job now is just to see what he can do in the run-in. He won't be doing much more work on the front, not at this moment in time. Not possible. He's done so much work, tirelessly worked the last two days for his team, Sky. They really do look after Mark Cavendish down there. Just look at him there, just tucked in the wheels nicely. And you could see then when Wiggins swung over, I think it was Knees that came through then. Eisel was up there as well to give them a hand as we come back once again to the leaders. Well, this is a really determined effort now. Do or die then by McLaughlin. Dan Craven, he's trying desperately to get into the wheel of the Irishman. I think the Irishman would do better to sit up and wait for him because then they can share the workload. No, he would be. He just needs to back off just a little bit. Let Dan Craven, both of those riders that can then take it 50-50, the workload is not doing himself any favours at the moment by trying to, to stay clear of Dan Craven. He really does need to wait and get together as he does do here. Dan Craven just needs to take a bit of a breather. It's taken an awful lot of energy for him to try and get back to McLaughlin there from Ampost in the green. Well, he's still got a bit of energy left, look, because he's coming through now to contribute to the pace, but it's only 16 seconds now as the... Uh, the big train on the front of Sky begin to assemble. And this is one of the defining moments of the Tour. I wouldn't say it's the final selection, Rob, with the kind of terrain that we've still got to come. But what it does indicate, just how difficult Echelon racing is. It's even harder than the climbing. Well, this is uh, classic flat, ran flat land racing that we're seeing here. And uh, the wet conditions have only added to that. As we see, still plenty of people out on the side of the road. The schools have come out. The pain etched, etched across McLaughlin's face there, showing the effort that he's putting in. And we can see the trees there on the left-hand side, just emphasizing that wind that these riders are having to try and ride through. 